Ladies and gentlemen and fellow enthusiasts of the human mind and creativity, my name is Rachel Lee from South Korea Chatting International School, class of 2025. I stand before you today to explore a profound intersection of art and the mind. Imagine a world where color, shapes, and forms become tools for healing, self-discovery, and transformation. This is the realm of art therapy, where the canvas becomes a mirror into the soul and the act of creation becomes a powerful catalyst for mental well-being. Imagine a world where we can enrich the lives of mentally ill patients using the power of creativity and expression. Recent research is showing us that art therapy has the potential to do just that, about stimulating the very essence of who we are, our brains. According to the art therapist I interviewed, Kelly Kim, she stated, quote, when art therapy is shown through media, many people think of it as a method for the evaluation and inspection of paintings. Some also tend to think that art therapy is only for children. However, since we art therapists are all experts in the field who have been practicing psychological studies for a long time, the treatments we do are in greater depth and the range of subjects for the treatment is wider. In addition, people used to believe that the body and the mind are separate parts. However, as brain science developed, a lot of scientific evidence showed that the body and mind are one." End of quote. In this sense, we can say that art therapy is not just about painting, but it's also a treatment that stimulates both sides of the brain to balance the body and the emotions. First and foremost, Art therapy can boost cognitive abilities, improving attention spans and memory. Most recently, Lee et al. found out, quote, as a result of art therapy as a psychological approach with people with MCI, mild cognitive impairment, overall cognitive function improved within a short period of time. Subsequent findings made by researchers also illustrated that it takes a period of time for significant improvements in cognitive functions to reveal themselves. Nevertheless, the results evidently demonstrated that art therapy sessions do indeed stimulate cognitive functions and mental acuity. But it doesn't stop there. Art therapy isn't just about sharpening the mind. It's also about enhancing our interpersonal, self-expression, and communication skills. Simply put, quote, when art is used for communications, a person can gain insight both intellectually and psychologically by connecting the meaning of the picture to his or her own life situation. During the art making sessions, participants express their thoughts and feelings, creating or rediscovering the meaning of their art pieces. Consequently, when a patient creates artwork, it naturally allows them to communicate their personal experiences or thoughts to the audience, improving their ability to express themselves. Similarly, when a patient views another's artwork, it allows them to understand the artist's intentions, training their interpersonal skills. Thus, the practice for art therapy provides the patients the opportunity to enhance these neurological facilities and improve the function of their prefrontal cortex, which manages these social interactions. An actual experience Kelly Kim observed was, quote, the cancer patients have gotten a lot better by learning about their symptoms or aspects of themselves they didn't know through the paintings and the works they have done. Also, I was proud of the extent of human impact through art therapy, and even though already an art therapist myself, I increased my reliance on the field. To add, since art is a way of nonverbal communication, I'm currently getting to know multicultural children. I'm giving help to children who have difficulty communicating language or expressing themselves as well as those with selective Belgium through art." End of quote. Art therapy also influences a person's emotional features, including improving anxiety and depression and promoting a sense of comfort and belonging, and fostering positive self-esteem. As stated by Waller in 2003, quote, apart from promoting social interaction, group interaction, art therapy also provides opportunity to instill hope, promotes universality and altruism among group members, end of quote. Furthermore, the act of creating or observing artwork can also be seen as an act of mediation and mindfulness. As a result, performing art therapy not only allows patients to feel calmer, calmer than usual, but also grants them a sense of belonging and greater self-esteem. This demonstrates that art therapy does indeed reduce mental symptoms or of depression and improve self-esteem. But here's the kicker. Recent studies are taking art therapy from the psychological realm into the physical domain. It's not just about what's happening in the mind, it's about what's happening in the body. During art therapy, participants commonly use their op 
upper extremity lateralities, which is thought to induce motivation and improve the finer and gross motor function, as well as skeletal strength through repetitive joint exercise. Through the practice of creating art, patients gain improved motor skills with regards to their hands and the other joints in the upper body. Developing these necessary joint muscles then allows particularly mentally ill patients such as dementia patients to avoid other health and quality of life issues such as essential tremor in the hands. As a result, it can be said that art therapy improves the bodily onset of dementia patients in advanced patients, allowing them to maintain better physical functionality throughout their remaining days. As a professional phrases it, quote, in the case of dementia patients, their symptoms are highly connected to the brain, so we tend to lead investigations involving a lot of handwork. Since art media is involved with contact with the hands and the stimulation of senses, we simulate um, patients with materials that involve frequent use of hands. The art therapist added on, quote, to be honest, these treatments do not make the dementia go away. Still, although slow, they help to me mediate the patients and depression and stress that comes from dementia, end of quote. However, at Korea, there are still a lot of people who are unfamiliar with art therapists. A possible reason may be because an art therapist is not officially listed in the job category yet. However, the government is currently working towards it as art therapy is occasionally being sought in hospitals. The fact that people look for art therapy means they are aware of this necessity, although our field is not yet officially established in the medical sector. Again, consultation methods are taking place at Korea's National Assembly regarding such placements of art therapy. Korea has a more favorable view towards art therapy than other countries, according to the art therapist I interviewed, who shared his long working experience in the U.S. at the seminar the art therapist interviewed um, attended. In conclusion, art therapy is not just a form of treatment. It's a beacon of hope for those facing the daunting journey of mentally illness. It's about enriching lives one brushstroke at a time. Thank you for your attention and let's keep painting a brighter future for mentally ill patients around the world.